How's it going, everybody? My name is Monte, and uh, welcome to my first ever podcast. If you uh, were already subscribed to my channel before, you will know that I had posted some videos, a few vlogs back in 2015-16, back when I was freshman, sophomore in high school, I think. Uh, since I was younger, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber on the side, and... I still kind of do. It's 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 something that I would enjoy. I'm currently I just got a microphone and I'm hoping to get a camera in the next few weeks, maybe about a month or so. But uh, when I get a camera, my video quality will go up as well. So, a little bit of background about my channel, about me. Uh, so when I was in middle school, I went to a performing arts school for theater and orchestra. And my theater teacher always told me that I had a voice that could, that's easy to listen to and that I could be a radio announcer. So I thought, hey, might as well try doing a podcast. Uh, I normally am not a talkative person, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me, but hopefully I can push through it and see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. So getting to know me, like I said, my name is Monte. Uh, I'm 22 years old. And might as well just a few of my favorite things. Uh, my favorite TV shows at the moment are A Million Little Things. If you haven't seen it, you absolutely need to. Uh, it's on Hulu. I'm not going to spoil anything, give away the plot or anything, but that show... Let's just say every single episode that I've watched at one point has made me cry. And it's it, it's weird to admit, but it's it's a really good show. Uh, then I also watch Rugrats because I watched that as a kid. And it's fun to go back and watch it again as an adult and see all the things that you missed as a kid. Then also Shark Tank because that's a staple show shark tank is i i always like seeing the different pitches and business transactions and all that another thing uh my favorite foods pretty much any seafood i grew up in the pacific northwest so i was spoiled when it came to availability and <laughs> freshness of fish and all that then i moved across the country to florida and again great great fish there and now i live in the middle so i don't get <laughs> i don't often get fish or anything uh another one of my favorite foods is some chicken wraps that i make i call them spicy sweet chili chicken wraps i will uh touch on that a little bit later because i'm possibly yeah i'll, I'll just touch on that a little bit later then uh, my hobbies, I like cooking and baking. I play guitar and sing a little bit on the side and ukulele. And I also want to teach myself piano as well. I used to play violin and I used to be in choir as well and theater. Uh, and also Legos. I'm a fan of Legos. I always, like, since I was old enough to know what a Lego is, I've been building with Legos pretty much. I design my own cars and then, like, sketch them out and then build them out of Legos, mid to large scale. I might post a few videos about it. I have another channel that I started up. I haven't posted anything on it yet because I'm unsure if I want to, but I, I might talk more about that later. My favorite musical artists at the moment are AJR, Imagine Dragons, and Acapella. If you haven't uh, heard any songs by Acapella, I highly recommend them. They're Christian music, Acapella of course, and I grew up listening to their CDs and tapes back at our 97 Dodge Caravan. Also, uh, 
My favorite songs at the moment? All of the album Gospel Long Play by Acapella. That is a really, really good album. Then uh, OK Overture by AJR is a song that I really enjoy. Easy On Me and All I Ask by Adele are also. I absolutely love those songs. And then another song that's uh, Surfer's Pressure from Encanto because that's I, I thoroughly enjoy that movie and that song and that kind of transmission transitions me into my next little point surface pressure is better than we don't talk about bruno in my opinion i'm not saying that we don't talk about bruno is a bad song because it, it's a good it's a good song has a nice feel to it and they, they just have different vibes to them and the messages to them i feel like Surface Pressure is a very, like, a good song you're able to relate to, and we don't talk about, like, we don't talk about Bruno is musically really good, but it's saying, hey, we don't talk about this person, pretty much, and Surface Pressure is, I have to be perfect, but, and there's a lot of pressure on me. But I'm vulnerable, 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 however you pronounce it. And I absolutely, mm, I've listened to it on repeat so many times in the past week. And that, like, that kind of makes me think, what makes a song good? Because it's objective to every person. You can, some people like screamo some people like indie some people like country pop anything really and everybody can think something's good so theoretically my opinion everybody's opinions all valid it's just my opinion that surface pressure is better it's kind of like uh how far i'll go versus you're welcome from moana if you haven't seen that movie also go watch it uh you're welcome. A classic song. It's just, what can I say except you're welcome? It's, it's catchy. Very catchy. And then, uh, you got How Far I'll Go. Optimistic song. Really speaks to me. And my AC turns on. Uh, then another song, like, comparison. It's like Follow You versus Next to Me by Imagine Dragons. They're both solid songs. They're both really good songs. And it's tough to pick a favorite, but depending on the day, I'd probably say Follow You is my favorite of the two, but they're both really good songs. You should listen to them. So I've asked uh, friends and family to give me different topics to talk about today for my first podcast. And my dad suggested that I do a little session called Everything Monte, which I normally don't talk about myself, but first podcast might as well. Uh, so one of his things was I could talk about lessons that I've learned from childhood and adult experiences. So the first point I want to bring is... Uh, Spending time indoors is where it's at. <laughs> I'm not saying the outdoors is bad because you got outdoor sports, but you also have allergens and I'm allergic to quite a lot of stuff. And on the other side, you have indoor sports like volleyball. Volleyball, you can play indoors or outdoors. Probably why it's one of my favorite sports. You can't really play soccer indoors. I mean you can but it's not the best idea uh but indoors you got sports like indoor sports you got food you got music and you got comfort those are my top things and then also like all your hobbies you can do indoors or outdoors i guess but indoors is where it's at another thing uh when it comes to 
sports related injuries or really just in general I'd say listen to your doctor uh, when I was in elementary school I used to be in track and in soccer and I, I honestly miss those days but I uh, I was diagnosed with Oshkosh Schleider's disease which is I believe the tearing of the muscle just below your kneecap and my doctor said hey you should take it easy because you're growing too fast and you're straining too much and it'll cause problems as you grow up and I said nope I'm gonna keep doing track but that ended up uh... <laughs> I should have listened to my doctor uh, ended up fracturing lightly the tops of my shins so yeah listen listen to your doctors as much as some people don't like them they 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 know what they're talking about most of the time uh another thing it's it's okay not to know what you want to make of your life S sorry for like the abrupt transition there but uh like for me when i was a kid ever since i was little i always wanted to design cars hence why build cars out of Legos and I always said when I grew up I want to be a car designer I used to draw pictures of cars cars are the only thing I can draw really uh, and I've always had a passion for cars and quirkiness like my first car was a Mazda RX-8 with a rotary engine a tattoo rotor like it's I've always I've always enjoyed cars. It's weird to say. <laughs> like, rotary engines, inline fives, boxer engines, flat engines, straight sixes. Just things that normally, that, that aren't normal in the automotive industry. Aside from Subaru, of course. But, uh, I also tend to like hatchbacks and pickup trucks but that's a bit beside the point uh, I always wanted to design cars and then as I got older I got into music and I've wanted to become a musician or like start posting covers of songs which is something that I'm considering doing at the moment but when it comes to copyrights and all that I have to figure out about that uh, then there's also food. I love cooking. I love baking. When when I was, I want to say, five or six, when I was just tall enough to reach the microwave, my grandma taught me how to make a microwave omelet, and that that was the time I started cooking. My brother, my <laughs> my brother hated it because the smell of microwaved eggs or like. I would make bologna, like, I would put bologna in a cup and then an egg in it and have that for breakfast, and he hates the smell of microwaved bologna. So, granted, sometimes I would do that on purpose, but that's how my passion for cooking also started. I used to watch How to Cake It and How to Cook That, and also, like, all of Food Network as a kid or not a, growing up I watched all those and also my mom for a while was a cake decorator she took cake decorating classes and uh, at my church growing up we had really good cooks and bakers and I've always just enjoyed food so that brings me to I want to possibly do cooking videos on YouTube. Also, Binging with Babish, I absolutely love it. And uh, Claire Saffitz and Sola and Priya and all of them. But I, w I would love to start doing cooking videos. But the apartment I'm at right now, if I were to set up a camera facing like the island so I can 
have a worktop in front of me. My stove is directly behind me. I would be facing away from the camera or trying to figure out a way to set the camera up so that it's a good position. And I'm not sure exactly how that'll work out. But then again, I don't have to worry about copyrights and all that. And I could... When people ask me, oh, what's your recipe for this? I can actually say, hey, look, uh, I posted this video and that shows you my recipe, shows my method for making this, and you're welcome to watch it. Uh, another thing. Completely lost my train of thought. Well, also, adulting is just being an advanced kid, pretty much. <laughs> like, at least from my perspective. Growing up, I always thought, I can't wait until I am 18 and I can just be an adult. I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about that. I can be an adult and I can drive and I can do this, do that. I am 22 and I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going day by day, pretty much. I got my job. I got my apartment. Those are the two set things and I got church so three set things and otherwise I, like being 22 half the time I still feel like I'm have to tell my mom and dad hey I'm gonna go to the store even though I'm halfway across the country <laughs> and it, it's weird to say that but yeah it's 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 just being a kid except bigger like when I grow up I want to do this well I'm part of the way grown up and I still don't know what I'm gonna do also uh, another thing that's uh, in family is important whether it be your biological family step family or like <clears throat> adopted family or friends that you call family having a having family is important all the love that they bring to your life it's it's a really helpful thing so this podcast is just my first one it's probably going to be or it is going to be short because i don't have many topics to talk about but I want to end this off with asking for your feedback, the viewer. What should I talk about on my upcoming podcasts? Should I branch off and do other things like... Should I have cooking videos? Should I do music videos? Then again, those are... I, w I would still continue doing podcasts because it would be it gives me something to do and I also get to like get things off of my mind that have been on my mind like surface pressure <laughs> and uh yeah I could also do I don't know about car reviews because I, I could talk about vehicles or talk about like music or food or lego sets that are coming out or i could do comparisons or opinions on different things and just yeah i could just let me know leave a comment below asking me a question to answer on my next podcast with ideas for future videos and also feel free to uh subscribe if you don't need to but feel free to and also I don't know how the notification bell works and I don't know when the next time I post will be but I look forward to making another podcast and possibly having guests in the near future have a good day <laughs>